when we discover defects in ourselves, we should not become demoralized. Accept it as the reality because we have spent endless lifetimes in this world. In innumerable lifetimes, we attached our mind to material things. So it's natural that we have deficiencies. Realize them and then take steps to eradicate them. That is the proper approach. Some people, when they realize their defects, they become despondent. Oh, Swamiji, I will never do it. It's so difficult. No, these defects can be removed. And that is the positive part of it. So how will they be removed? He gives us the Sutra the irreplaceable sutra and that is practice 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 there is no other alternative to practice everything that we accomplished in the world was through practice when we learned typing on the first day it was such a struggle you have to search for each letter and then when you've been typing for one year your fingers are flying on the keyboard at the speed of 80 words a minute now somebody comes and sees wow you type so fast do you have some yogic siddhi some mystic power no 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 siddhi it is the result of one year's practice. You see these acrobats in the circus? They have a plate, a cup, a plate, a cup, plate, cup, plate, cup. And then they walk on the tightrope. How did this acrobat do it? It's the result of years of practice. Similarly, in the spiritual journey, we have to put in that practice. And then, through that practice, we will accomplish the surrender to God and draw His grace. So, in order to remove these impediments, Maharshi Patanjali says, you focus on that absolute truth. You focus on bringing the light in. The darkness will vanish by itself. Don't make the darkness the object of your contemplation. Don't focus too much on defects. Be aware of them so that they don't trip you down. But your endeavor should be in the positive direction. How do I attain that absolute truth? So, what is the practice to repeatedly bring your mind on that absolute truth which is the Lord, which is your eternal soul and which is your relationship with Him. Make this the object of your contemplation.